Ooh, it's cold. Welcome back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're having an awesome day today. It is cold. Um, we are going to try to tackle this project today of starting to um, switch out the lower control arms on my 2006 Toyota Tacoma. Um, it is just really cold outside, so I'm trying to find something warmer to wear. And then we're also, we have a problem. We're gonna try to put the truck in the garage. However, with the tent on the top of the truck, it doesn't fit. So, we have a couple ideas. We did get the truck inside at Christmas, but in order to do that, we had to get everybody inside of the truck. And my brother and, and Charlie stood on the back of the truck. And so we're gonna try to lower the, the air pressure and the tires. Rusty. So they have a three three door garage. We're gonna try to pull it in the middle door. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of our other videos and welcome to the Axe family. All right, let's uh, take some of the air out of the tires and I'm not sure if we're gonna make it, so. I don't have one. I got one right here. Okay. Jillian. Okay, we got all the tires down to about 25 PSI. I had been running them at 55, and I think we're, I was just looking at some of the tread, and Charlie was looking at the tread. That Looks like 55 might be a little bit too high, so when we pump them back, pump them back up, uh, we'll put them at a lower PSI, and, and we're gonna see if uh, we can get under the awning and get into the garage where it's a little bit warmer. For some reason, this. The, the last like two days just got a lot colder and today it's freezing. Ugh. Pull to your right, Cody. Okay, does it look like it's going to clear? Yeah. But turn to your right. How much room do I have up there? Not a lot. <laughs> Go slow. About three quarters of an inch. You're okay. Run back up. That'll work right there. All right, we got the truck inside. Now we're gonna uh, take the front wheels off. We'll probably do one at a time and see if we can get the lower control arms off. And here we go. So I guess I should do a little disclaimer before we start. Uh, if you're coming to this video because you want to see how to replace the lower control arm on a Tacoma or, or something, um, you might learn something from watching this video, but I want to let you know I've never done it before. And so I'm just learning as I go. So I might do something wrong in this video. Feel free to comment below and let me know if I do something wrong or something unsafe. Um, but I'm just working with the best of my knowledge. My philosophy towards uh, just mechanics on your own vehicle is that uh, it's cheaper to do it yourself and you end up learning something. And if you have the time to do it yourself, then go for it. And if you're crunched on time and you'd rather just 
uh, give some money to a mechanic uh, to do it, pay for the labor and everything, then go ahead and take that route. Uh, I got the the jack, I got the jack stands, I got the wheels shocked, I got the e-brake on, uh, trying to be as safe as possible. And we'll take the wheels off and then go from there. Just kind of figure it out. I've watched a few different uh, videos on YouTube. There's not a ton out there specifically to Tacomas. Um, and so I feel like I've tried to learn as much as I can before I go into this. We have two different types of uh, spring compressors that we just borrowed, rented, or whatever. You can go to Napa and, and rent these. You just put a deposit down. And then this style, I think, is the style I'm going to try to use first. So I'm more familiar with these. I've seen these before. So let's see if we can get those in there. We're still having the tire on. Get to use my new breaker bar and ratchet set. That's cool. Just want to loosen up these lug nuts before I get the tire off the ground and it's harder to do. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Your shots. So this is not a how-to video. This is a <laughs> are we going to make it video. And we're going to make it, but <laughs> I don't think uh, we've had enough experience doing this multiple times to tell you how to do it. But I'm just going to tell you if we survive. So we got the tires off. We got the lower bolt that holds the shock to the lower control arm off. And then the sway bar was in the way so we undid the sway bar end links on both sides and we took the sway bar out but before we could do that there were just some support bars here that were holding it up so we took those out and that's how we got this the sway bar out so now we're going to try putting the spring clamps back in again and see if we can um, get the spring compressed enough so that it's not pushing down on the the lower control arm. We've been using the jack to you know put pressure on the lower control arm and that's been nice. And then this right here is a spud wrench and we just have it sticking through the bottom of the shock so that it's holding it in place. <coughs> Now that we have the shock disconnected, 
from the lower control arm. Now we're going to take the lower ball joint um, and disconnect it from the knuckle. And the pin that was in there was all rusted, so we had to shear it off and basically uh, punch it in on both sides so that the bolt will spin. Now we're going to use a breaker bar and get this bolt loose. Didn't have any black paint, so we used purple spray paint. I came back from going to town and Charlie got the control arm off and he uh, grinded down the metal here, got it ready to put this control arm in and then we just put the new control arm in. So we're just kind of getting the caster camber uh, adjustment bolts in and just kind of guessing where they need to be we're gonna measure the the toe on the tire after we get that all done okay we got the lower ball joint connected well we 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 reached the stopping point for today we'll continue tomorrow thanks for watching hats off to you <laughs>